guys with clean hands we're gonna start by making a hollow in the middle of the flour that's a dry flour then i'm gonna be adding the salt all over the flour as well so that we can have nice flavorful dumplings the next thing i'm gonna be doing is pour in the cornmeal and just combine that all together by mixing After cornmeal, salt, and flour is all together, now we're gonna make another hollow in the center of the mixture. At this point, we're gonna begin by gradually pouring in the water. You have to take your time. You don't want your flour to be too soft, right? So we're gonna take our time and just mix that in. So guys after you are you know they're pouring the water and as you go along you notice that the flour is now becoming soft and more softer you have to be very careful because you don't want to spoil the dough so as you can see i stop pouring in water at this time because it's at a manageable point where i can knead the dough quite well So guys, since I'm done with, you know, the water, all I'm going to be doing here is just applying pressure as I knead the dough, right? Basically using my fist and the palm of my hand and applying pressure to the dough. So guys to get nice smooth textured dumplings you're gonna have to keep applying pressure to the dough as you can see i'm starting to use two of my hands that's why it's important to start with clean hands right So guys, kneading is over and at this point, we're going to break the dough to the size dumpling you are going to make. And as you can see, this size here is perfect for me. So guys, at this point, we're now ready to shape the dough into dumplings. And as you can see, I took one of the broken pieces and I began to shape the dumpling. I wanted to pay attention to my fingers as well as the dough between my palm. You see, I'm going 
in and out with my fingers. So at this point, I'm now starting to roll the dumpling between my palms. So I'm basically trying to get that nice, you know, round looking shape. And then I use the end of my palm to give the dumpling a nice press down to achieve this nice round looking shape. And this is how your dumpling should look after you knead it. And here you have it guys whether white dumplings cornmeal dumplings fried dumplings dumpling to go in the soup whatever case whatever it is dumplings are ready the only thing that with fried dumplings it will need you know baking powder but this is how you make your dumplings to whatever choice you are having fry boiled roast whatever it is this is how your dumplings should be anyways i just want to say thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one